What is going on guys, StealthXRift here, back once more in Alice Madness Returns. And if you didn't watch the last episode guys, you kind of have to, you have no idea why we're here, why it is, the world is rippling because, you know, we're under the sea, no one, I can't explain the whole story to you, it's very long winded, so you got to check out the last well, couple of episodes to find out what's been going on. Um, but we're here, the, the, the whole purpose of coming here, I'm going to start smashing things while I'm talking to you. Uh, the purpose of being here is we're going to walk in and meet the carpenter. Now, if you don't know who that is, watch the animated um, movie or read the book, the original Disney uh, one, because the walrus and the carpenter is one of my favourite little little songs in there. Um, and I've had it in my head now for the last two days since I first came down here. So. Yeah, check it out, have fun with it, and I see the walrus, I can see him, you can see him guys as well, because he's on the camera. Um, I get really excited. <laughs> but, um, let's, let's see what's going on, shall we? So, he's fast asleep. <laughs> and there's the carpenter. Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know... My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your help velocity. I don't have much experience. I didn't need to reconstruct my... William Martyr, have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, would address that monstrosity directly, as to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a logisterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. What? The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune deaf music. And finally, gather our stars, the show's tasty, uh, nay, tasteful performers. <laughs> the essentiality of haste is essential. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements, ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or batter or natter, as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? <laughs> I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! So, Carpenter's appear on the show. Carpenter's not ready for the show. And we've now got to go get the script from... The octopus. Can I climb these? No. Kind of think we could. Um, I'm guessing we go out this way. And up here? Yes. So... If you notice, he mentioned the delicious stars. In the song, Walrus and the Carpenter, the whole thing is literally about how they are planning on eating the oysters. Or the clams. Is it called clams or oysters? I forget which one they call it in that. Those were oysters. Those images just then, I think. I don't know. Don't, don't sue me. I'm not marvellous. If you spent as much time practicing as you do in Wonderland, you'd be the next Sullivan or Gilbert or one of them. Um, but yeah, they were trying to eat them and then they came up with a great plan um, to convince them to stay on land so they could eat and you're fortified to kick some these creatures that's right keep that R rating I'm kidding we're going for you on this apparently because like well child friendly even though none of my videos are child friendly I don't I don't pretend because I don't I'm not great at remembering not to uh, matter upset that's a that's a cannon crab I just thought that was a cool name. I didn't even think that they were actually called cannon crabs. It's because in 
when you're when we come down here in the boat, they they will attack us. Run back and come on, Krabby. And then slice, oh, smash, smash, smash. Okay, so knock the cannon off, knock the cannon off, smash, smash, done. So realistically, my primary weapon should still be the Vorpal Blade, but that's because that doesn't deal massive damage, it just deals a lot of um, defense busting damage. And let's just focus on one at a time. Smash, smash, smash. And then... That wasn't my smartest move. Smash, smash, and then... Right, okay. They're pretty easy to take down once you know how... <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> sorry about that! I mean, yeah, really sorry. That was... Oh, gosh. Give me a headache. I get no warning when I need to sneeze, and it's very frustrating. Uh, so that's rocks up to that pad. Ooh, look, like Easter Island heads. A little bit. They're not exactly, but you know, giant f face rocks. Don't see me, it's the first thing that came to my head. Uh, and then if I do this one, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, gosh. They would have been much more helpful if I'd got them up before I killed the cannon grabs. You know, lots more cover. What's that way? I'm not going to go that way just yet. I think I come back this way anyway. But we're going to go through this giant fish's mouth because that's a safe thing to do. You made a splashy noise. That sounded horrible. Oh, it's a double-ended. Oh, and there's an octopus. This place smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of. And oh. That's a scent of unrecognized genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fogging moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need. Your needs are sh. Oh. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my aborted career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it. We can deal. I need a drink. No, no, no. I need hide and seek. A lifetime hiding his true colours gives him an end. But he can't conceal the way he moves. Thanks, cat. Writing's an apt occupation for an octopus. He never runs out of ink. Good, because that's just what I needed to know. No, down, 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 down. I mean, yes, okay, I understand the position. The octopus is not happy. He's being mistreated. There are unions for that sort of thing. Not shout at the angry 16-year-old. The angry 16-year-old who's stuck in Wonderland. Ooh. Oh. Don't question it. I nothing happened. I did not just jump off of a jellyfish. Definitely wouldn't be me. That doesn't sound anything like what I would do. 
let's go over here because there's a golden tooth. Yeah, doesn't sound anything like me, guys. I don't know what you're on about. Never jumped off of jellyfish before. I've never even touched a jellyfish before. That's that's kind of that's kind of true. Never touched a jellyfish. Because I had never seen one, but actually, that's a lie. Cornwall is full of them at the time of year when my family used to go. Teeth. Um, hide and seek. Is he hidden inside a bottle? It would appear he probably is. Would this be faster? Oh, this is too easy. Yes, it would be faster. Just smash them all with a machine gun. Where the ink flows, the octopus goes. Follow the ink. Follow the ink. I love that. That's that's really quite a clever little line. Follow the ink. Oh, no, that's gone up faster than this has. It also got up higher. Okay, so I've got to wait for that to come back down. I almost forgot that it needs to be seen in this form, not in the other one. Uh, put a bomb on there to activate that. Oh gosh, now it's a timed thing to jump over to this part of the sky. So shoot that. You can't... Oh, gosh. I thought I was going to be out of time then, but... Oh, I could... I don't know why I was in such a rush. The thing just goes back down. I'm I'm being a bit dense today. I do apologise. I don't know why, but I'm just... Not focused. So if I die again, it's... I, I, I blame Hatter. He could have helped me, but he didn't. Uh, the octopus is this way. Thank you, strange writing that has no real reason to being there. Should we just do this one properly? So you don't look like an octopus, nor do you, nor you, nor you. None of these look like octopi. Oh, what's with the keyhole? Oh. But I will, because you're kind of predictable. You're just running from bottle to bottle. And jump on and up. We're going to go up or that going to go down? We're going to go up. And so is that. Oh, gosh. No, I didn't make that. But... Oh, I don't know. These characters are very strange. Pathway there. Right, drop the hat. The white rabbit. I love that the white rabbit is the, the bomb. I wonder if he's an actual character as well, or is it just as a weapon? Because if we have to like either face off or meet the white rabbit, that'd be quite cool. This is absolutely one of my favourite games. So I didn't play it much when it first came out because I actually only found out about it three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. I still haven't actually checked. I keep meaning to check if there was a, there was a prequel to this. So you're not in there. I think you might be down there, but I'm not going to jump down just yet, thankfully. Unpleasant. Remote in time and space has only as much power as vivid memory offers it. Okay, that, make, that makes kind of sense. Just smash that anyway. Come on, can it? Oh, not you. Where are you? 
Bring your bombs. Bring your bombs up so I can smash them. Most guys are annoying, but easily dealt with. You gonna smash on me? No. Or are you? I think, no, you're not. I wondered if it was gonna be a, a hobby horse smash, but it's not. It's just not a smash. This does that. Okay. So if we put this one up, set the bomb, and quickly, there we go, and then the other one, vice versa I assume, yeah I've got to get all the way to the other side, and I set my own little timer, because why would this give me a time limit? The good thing is they're closer, so the bullets hit faster, so the thing goes around faster. It's set up to give you the best chance of doing it without having to repeat it. I don't know if it would make you repeat it over and over again, or whether it would just make you do it the once. But well, you never know. Wait, where's that one? It's that one. Where can I shoot you from then? From the other side. Oh man. Like that. I knew one of them had to do it. Make it really annoying jumps, and then you got to do it more than once. Come on, come on! I don't need to focus on it again. I've already know where it is. I already know where it is. And it does. It makes it restart from scratch. Oh, thank God! I thought we do it all over again. I was like, no, 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 no! Don't, don't make me do that! Don't make me do that! Mm -mm -mm. We're not going to have any fun if I have to keep redoing it every 30 seconds. Okay. Up we go. And you're not in here. I know that for certain. Are you in here? No, you're not. I know you can you can tell it's wine, not the octopus, just because the octopus sits on the floor, whereas the wine uh, is all floaty. It looks more like a squid when it's the wine rather than an octopus. Like these four, it's this guy here. You can tell it's him because if he's all at the bottom. It's all in the game. There, cop. You've won. You're a good sport, and no one died. Join me in the library, and like some, I don't Welsh. I don't like. I don't. You don't Welsh. Uh, okay. Before we go in there, uh, guys. No, you know we'll do this. We'll go this, and, and then we'll run over a little bit. Just. The carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality, art, and good sense. Be damned! He demands mirth, sadness, and the street debauchery all day. To a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the theatre. You can be on your way. No doubt, carpenter's got you collecting piscine fevers for the musical portion. Man really hires a proper talent. Some fish can sing, but not all. So we've got the octopus. I will end it here, guys. We've got the octopus. We managed to find him in his drunken state. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. It helps me out so much. And like the video if you enjoyed. It's. I hope you are enjoying the series. Um. 
And leave a comment if you... I've already asked, the last person I asked, what was your favourite part of the animated movie? So this time, you know what? What's your favourite part of the live action movie? If you haven't seen it, go watch them both because they are amazing. But that's question question for this episode. What was your favourite part of the live action? Yeah, that's about it. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later.